Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody, whatever time it is you're watching. And welcome to a review unboxing of the Trust Microphone Studio Pro set. Also crotch shot. <laughs> All right, then I'll back out then. <laughs> now it's thigh shot. Okay, then. I'm sorry, my desk is a bit small. We're gonna have to do this like this. So, what is this? This is a complete set. So in this box, we are getting ourselves the microphone arm, uh, the microphone itself, this whole, uh, this ring that holds the microphone, uh, this basically pop filter, um, and but there's also another filter that goes on the mic, uh, and also we're getting an auxi uh, auxiliary, a XLR cable that goes to 3.5 millimeters. Now then. Uh, I bought this because I'm going to be doing some Genshin Impact stuff and it includes a lot of talking. It's not a podcast, um, it's character reviews. And because there's a lot of talking, I want to, to, to sort of upgrade my audio. Mostly, of course, the mic. Now, uh, audiophiles and people who actually know anything about audio would tell you do not buy this crap um, because this was like 30 euros. Um, but I don't know, looking at reviews, this is just solid and we are of course gonna be testing it both through just uh, like connecting it to the motherboard but also uh, we're gonna connect it to a sound card with, uh, which I bought which most likely is gonna do nothing at all um, you know because the proper thing to connect such a mic is an external DAC digital to uh, analog converter through uh, XLR 2XLR, not 3.5 millimeters. But yes, for now though, and I would guess for people that actually bought this mic and are looking at reviews, money is tight. You cannot buy an external DAC because those can go for like 50 plus um, bucks. And it's, you know, as a current solution, how is this mic gonna work? Just connect it to your PC. We're gonna test that. But then, let's get to the unboxing. Right now, you're looking at the right side, so I'm gonna have to open it up from here. And let's take a look inside the box. Packaging. And here we have everything. We got ourselves a small manual. Let me take a small peek and see if it says anything important. Okay, it's basic stuff. It's got its own equalizer. That's actually interesting. Uh, not exactly equalizer, but it's got its own graph. Let me show you. Look at this. Ooh, come on, focus. Come on, baby, focus. God damn it, it's not focusing. Okay, I think... Is it okay here? Uh, I'm just using a shitty webcam. Don't judge me. So, yeah, as you can somehow perhaps see it, it has a graph of the frequencies that this microphone... Um, pick up, picks up and such, or like transmits, and then it's mostly assembly, which I am gonna be using, of course, because we need to know how to assemble this thing. But that's that for. But okay, the manual is definitely useful. So now we have one of the filters. Here is the other one. Wait a second. Yeah, this is the other filter. What? Okay, then. This is very interesting. Um, This is supposed to be, like, nicely shaped, by, but someone, like, put it in here in packaging, and now it's completely deformed. I mean, when you're gonna put it on the mic, it most likely is gonna fix itself. But this is not that good. Like, it's gonna take a while for this to fix its shape very interesting that's that's definitely something this is one of the filters again feels nice Th these are pretty standard i mean this is a bit let's say cheap but you're not really gonna find anything that's so spectacular and different to this you're not gonna notice much of a difference in terms of filters and stuff and then we we'll just have the... Okay, here is the mic. Let's take a look at this one. Nice bag. And this is it. Pretty standard. Says Tracer. Here's the XLR. And yeah. Pretty fine. Heavy. That's for sure. Although not... 
the heaviest mic I've ever like held. Okay then. Here we have our XLR cable to 3.5 millimeters. And here is also a splitter. What is this for? It's look at that. Like what? So it's it's meant to like take two inputs and convert it into one. So it's not a splitter actually, it's a combiner. Yeah. And converter? But like what are you exactly gonna plug into this the I guess you're gonna plug the in Oh, I guess this is for like uh laptops and such. Although even then you should like have uh have this on your own. Okay. Okay, okay. This is definitely for something like laptops, where you've got yourself only one combo jack and you uh, plug in your uh, headphones on one, this microphone to the other um, ports here, and then they combine into this. Interesting, I, I don't know, I wouldn't really trust this cable. Um, because again, this microphone actually needs some extra power to run, and if you're running like either a proper headset or even a, like gaming, let's say headset, it might need some extra power that it cannot that this uh, combined thingy might not be able to drive. I've I have seen splitters and uh, things like this, um, like break headsets and microphones because there just isn't enough power. Next up, this is where the mic slots in. Cool, that's nice. Here we have, okay, so this is the piece that goes uh, on your desk. It, let me, uh, can I unsc <laughs> unscrew this? Let's see. Nope, this is the, that is the wrong way. Come on, okay. So yeah, it's slowly loosens up and opens like this and when you're gonna slot it into your desk you're gonna use this here and clamp it down so that it doesn't go anywhere and this is the arm itself you might say that doesn't look pretty big and I will tell you it isn't <laughs> it's it, it really isn't that big Ooh, ooh, did you hear that uh, spring Okay, so this is it in all of its length. It's not that big, which for some might be might be good. For some other people, because of how they how you want to s well set up your setup, um, it might actually not reach and might be uncomfortable, but. It feels sort of solid. Again, not the best. I mean, it is only 30 euros. There are like knobs, uh, like twist, twisty things here for um, tightening it. But yeah, that's all that is into the, in the box. Okay, so we're gonna cut. I'm gonna set it up. I'm actually gonna take a picture as well to show you how it is as fully assembled and then of course we're gonna test the differences between this headset mic this headset costs around 60 70 euros so we're gonna test my mic right now and this mic and let's see the difference I'll see you then all right then we'll, we're back right now you're not listening to the microphone you're listening you're still listening to my headset mic uh, I, I just wanted to point out some uh, uh, things about setting it up and why I didn't show you the setup. Uh, first of all, I I don't know. I just couldn't really handle. I couldn't set up a camera to really show you uh, the setup. But I should have some photos up. Uh, I should have a photo of the microphone and how it looks. So, um, what are my like thoughts and comments? The arm itself isn't that big. This is ex extremely meant to be on the side of your desk, a desk extending to you. It's it got it has no like depth uh, control. Uh, you can uh, 
like unscrew the base and rescrew it if you want to like move it back back and forward but yeah in terms of like depth forwards and backwards it's it's like stationary most of the time when it comes to the arm it it goes pretty high it, it's okay in its movements i would say that it can extend quite a bit but the way that it extends may actually block you and it's it's okay um but yeah like up down and a bit to side to side it's okay the the movement of the arm is okay but yeah like bringing it closer to your uh your mouth or further away might be a problem might be a bit of a problem with how the base works um but then we come to the mic itself um and like the uh the place for it the arm for it i guess that's not you know the base the ring um a few complaints it like screws into the arm and if you don't have something like pliers or or something to really tighten it up it sometimes might be uh like you need to do a full 360 if you want to adjust the microphone down or up uh because if you go like uh if you uh go do a downwards movement to move the mic twisting it downwards uh, which means unscrewing it it will actually unscrew and because without pliers you can't really like tighten up the uh, the mic arm circle thing to the mic arm itself you might have to do 360s of the mic if you want to literally adjust it just a tiny bit down um, but overall it's fine there's a lot of uh, places where you can tighten up uh, let's say the joints of the arm and the microphone uh, like arm circle again thing um, the only thing that I will say is that there are no instructions on how to actually insert the mic to its place um, what do I mean um, I'll actually perhaps have a video right now shooting and I will show you so let's transition a bit so here we are hello there so this is the mic as I was saying it's all set up here down here is where you uh, tighten this to hold the arm so that's why you cannot really move it back and forth if you move it back and forth you're actually moving the whole base not this part only this is all fine as you can see uh, the cable the cable is extremely long very nice and you can easily sort of hide it and uh, make it go along the way of the arm itself so that's cool but here is the microphone itself and the way you are meant to insert this in is by clamping down these two things so that it opens up and then you can insert the mic there are no instructions on that there is nothing for this in the manual no pictures no no mention on anything and that actually made me scratch the mic uh, i'll put a picture up in a bit but you'll see how i've literally scratched up the mic there are like little circle things uh inside here that scratched it up and as you can see here this is like a bit of foam that is meant to protect the microphone from this but yeah like because i didn't know like i didn't see this i didn't know how to put the microphone in i i tried to force it in i twisted it and because i twisted it i t teared up a bit of the foam here and that's what caused the mic to scratch and reveal this silver but yeah like you're meant to clamp this down it will open and you can easily drop it in release this and it will catch it so please be careful and here is the aux cable connected to the mic so let's get back to the desktop all right then so we are here back as i showed you the pictures of the setup and we're about to test the microphone itself right now 
I've got my headset connected through a USB cable that goes from the headset to my motherboard. The back of them, or the back of my motherboard, uh, on a in a USB port. The mic itself, right now, is also connected to the motherboard. It's connected to the audio card that is uh, always in our motherboards. So we are going to test how it sounds there. So let me restart the recording so that I can choose the other microphone. All right then. So right now you should be able to hear me. I'm standing extremely close to the mic, actually, because uh, it's clear this mic needs power. Also, you might be hearing a sizzling thing. That is most likely either through the mic itself, picking up anything, or it's electric interference. Electric interference that happens because this is a motherboard sound card that is hit with everything around it inside the... Uh, the case so you might actually not be able to hear me i will test this out and hear the recording but yes so right now this is the this is on a hundred percent in windows with no extras and no filters or anything by the way no sound suppression or anything this is the mic itself so this is it compared to the headset mic and i am going to connect it uh to the extra sound card that I bought and I'm also going to connect my headset to that sound card through a just audio cable that I got so we're not gonna uh, so the microphone of the headset is not going to be picked up by Windows it's there's not gonna be any connection to it so we'll test if maybe th something like that uh, helps us out so I'm gonna connect everything to the sound card I'll see you in a bit do I sound differently? I think I do. So right now I'm sort of screaming. All right. But here's the thing. You need a sound card. I'm dead serious about this. All right. So here's the thing. Right now, my headset and my microphone and the microphone are both connected to the sound card that I bought. 30 bucks. It's a sound uh, blaster Audigy effects. Not the, uh, you know, not high end. Not even like new, I would guess. This this thing must be really old. And through my headset, I can hear tiny bit of sizzling. And you 100% can hear the microphone sizzling. That is unfortunately electric interference. You cannot do anything about it except get the best sound card with the best uh, filters, with the best shielding, because that's the one that thing that matters, you know. There's one thing of dirty power going into the sound card itself. The other thing is everything on your computer locking down the sound card, like targeting it with electricity that just is inside your computer. <laughs> and I will say, for the conditions that the sound card right now is, I think this is pretty much fine. Um, uh, I would maybe try to position the sound card differently but i hardly doubt it's gonna make a difference but i will try it we're gonna come back right now the sound card is sitting on the only pc uh like pci express i guess it is it's not express you know it's it's the small pci um connector it's sitting right above my graphics card it's basically touching it and my graphics card uh, my graphics card is a GTX 1080 and one of the strongest models of the 1080. It's the EVGA uh, for the win ACX3, which uh, for those that don't know, is very power hungry. And not only that, we are also going to test this microphone and sizzling with a game going. Because look, this sizzling is definitely noticeable, but right now there's dead silence. Right. If there is also some other background noise, like games and such, it might not be that noticeable. But you need a sound card for this, and a sort of good sound card. Also, be careful with your sound cards. I don't know what it is. I tried listening to the mic through the sound card software, and it was extremely bassy for some reason. I don't know if it's happening right now, I am going to listen to the recording. But sometimes it's very clear, other times, uh, and again, mostly only hearing it through the sound card software 
it was bassy, like really bassy, and that was interesting. Also, though, you need distance unless you're doing ASMR. Keep the mic from a, you know, like a bit of a distance from your mouth and yourself, you know. Also, this is a mic that isn't tied to your headset. It's gonna hear everything. It's gonna pick up everything. Like, you know, this is just a mouse, mechanical keyboard. Everything is going to be picked up. You cannot do anything about this. All right. Also, something that I noticed is enabling uh, the spatial sound thing. Either I would guess Dolby Atmos or the Windows Sonic for headphones. It did clear up the sound of of this mic supposedly, but it's interesting. Like, there's a lot of software side things that can interfere with your microphone but the mic itself is perfect i would even say i think this is actually really good you know the arm is okay the microphone itself is perfectly fine but it needs testing and it needs a sound card not your front panel not the front uh, ports on your um on your computer not your motherboard a dedicated sound card that is just that is just connected to pci um, also, this microphone, as it says in the manual, has a very specific front side and back side where it will pick sounds coming from that side, but it won't pick sounds coming from the other side. So, right now, the mic is positioned facing me, but actually, the right positioning for this mic is, uh, is like, down, not downwards, you know, like, um, <laughs> the opposite of horizontal, <laughs> damn it. But yes, the opposite of horizontal, I, I just cannot get it into my head right now. That is the way, uh, vertically, thank you. <laughs> yes, it's vertical positioning with the Tracer logo facing you. That is how this mic is positioned. It can work like how I'm doing it right now, but that is the correct positioning, as it is in the box as it showed. Vertically facing the logo facing you and that is how it picks up. Sorry for that by the way. So I'm gonna cut I'm gonna reposition the mic facing me uh, fa With the logo facing me so we can like see the difference and We're gonna do another recording with the sound card connected uh, Lower from my GPU. So we're gonna see that and I'm gonna uh, See you then the microphone is vertically positioned now. Tracer logo is facing me. So this should make a difference. You know, let me move around the mic a bit and see if it makes any sort of difference. You know, moving around. Now I'm like left, right, left, right. So I'm going to check that. This should sort of make a difference. Also, the recording wasn't bass boosted like hell. So maybe it is something with the software you know i'm gonna actually show you so this is the software right here it's like buggy uh, i can't close this uh, sec uh, settings panel by the way uh microphone boost is on zero balance is fine and this listen to the uh, when i tick this i can listen to the microphone and it, it, i don't know like the, as you can see like there's nothing that would tell you Yes, this is like, oh, wait, what is this? 501 surround, please. I cannot switch that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but yes, like, there's nothing about the mic. You cannot change the mic. The only thing you can do is go here and change these settings, which do nothing to help. This is just an equalizer, a random one, uh, a bit, just a bit boosted that I have. But th this is just for the headphones, the headset. So, yeah, like, go, like, this is an okay sound card. I will, I'm fine buying this for 30 bucks, especially for my headset. I went to listen to a song before recording this uh, mic test. My goodness, it makes a difference in, in music. And I cannot believe it. Like, I'm so, I'm, I'm just so surprised at the difference. So, yes, this is the mic vertically. I'm gonna go reposition the sound card. I'm gonna put it into a PCI uh, Express X16 slot, the long one where graphics cards usually are placed. 
I hope it works if I do that. And we're gonna see. Because if I remember, I have nowhere else to put the card. Um, the only small PCI uh, slot might be covered by my GPU. So some repositioning might be needed. I might actually just put the graphics card lower instead of com instead of moving the sound card. You know, just just have a distance between the GPU and the sound card, and let's see if that helps. Because I am 100% betting there's something going on, perhaps. We don't know. I don't know. Let's check it. So I'm gonna be right back after I open up my PC and change the stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I found it. I freaking found it. So the sound card right now is positioned exactly below my graphics card. I wouldn't be lying if I would to, if I would to say that the fan of my graphics card and the sound card are having sexual intercourse. They are barely not touching. <laughs> and this could improve sizzling. We'll see. The, you know, the the idea is that you know, the backplate of the GPU um, you know, it has electrical components and stuff. Also, the sound card is closer to the motherboard and other things, blah, blah, blah. I think that's all in theory. In practice, it's not true. But right now, the back of the sound card, which has no electrical uh, components, no capacitors, no chips, no nothing, is facing the fan. So maybe that might change. I don't know. But I found it. Why did my microphone, when I heard it, sound muddy, bassy, low volume? 5.1. Yes, that is it. This is a stereo microphone. And putting it through 5.1 sound makes it sound weird. So... When I am to hear this microphone back, I should switch to stereo. And if you are using some sort of virtual 7.1 or 5.1, this microphone might sound bad. So switch to stereo on your headphones or headset, and then it will fix itself. I, I, you know, I should have guessed, but yeah, that's it. That is why um, when I enabled spatial sound, I could hear the mic well, because with spatial sound on, my headset cannot go into 5.1 mode, because my headset is 5.1. I couldn't change this to 5.1 surround because of the spatial audio, but now that I have it turned off, I can go into 5.1, and if I do go into 5.1, these headphones sound wrong, uh, this microphone sounds wrong. So that is it. So be careful, mostly when exporting the audio, audio file, if you record with this microphone. But most likely, people have stereo headphones and they are on some stereo mode when hearing you or when you hear things. So that should be it. So this is the mic with the sound card repositioned. I could set the graphics card and the sound card afar, uh, like, I could have some more space between them, because I have a second PCI slot that the graphics card can go in, and I have the PCI slot that I first had the sound card in, uh, they have quite a bit of a distance, but because my ha my case has uh, non-replaceable back uh, plate things for the PCI slots, it's gonna look ugly with the empty slots that the graphics card used to have, so... I'm sticking with this, and we're gonna do one more test. I'm gonna load up Genshin Impact, stress the GPU out so that it sucks up more power, and we're gonna see if perhaps recording a game mutes the sizzling or amplifies it. Let's see. So, we're inside Genshin. Again, this game likes to push my GPU, so we're trying to put, like, strain on the components. One thing I will say, I don't know what's wrong with this game. This sounds wrong. <laughs> like, I think the sound card has done something. And this game sounds so 3D. 
What is going on? Man, this sound card like changes the whole thing. Like there is nothing in terms of audio to switch it to f uh, 5.1 or anything. This is it. So I might need to change to 5.1 to hear this game normally. But oh my, there's like so many directions now to the sound. People, people, get yourself a sound card. So let's see. So again, we're putting strain. This is why I'm here fighting. I just want to put some strain on the GPU. So let's see. But yeah, th this is this is the test. You know, this is it. Um, I can hear, I think, my, my GPU a little bit, like, ramping up. And here. If I tab out and I open MSI after burner, as you can see, ma like, big temp temperature, big usage, everything's, like, going ham, uh, like, power percentage, like, fan speed. Shut up, Zhongli. So, yeah, I'm gonna exit. But let's see. I'm gonna check the recording. You already know. I'm gonna check the recording, and I'm gonna go into final thoughts, okay? This video needs to end, but there's a lot of... of just situations and options for this mic and sound cards. And for a review to be complete, we need to check everything. So I'll be back. Final thoughts. 30 bucks for this. Mad. Like, mad. Value. Arm, perfectly fine. Microphone, extremely good. But, sound card. I'm gonna put a title into this video. That is going to include a review about the sound card. It is a whole different world. A whole different world. The sizzling did not change, although I did have the game volume on the recording quite low. So that is a thing. Like, I did have the volume v way lower than it should be. So... With game sound, with like something in the back, light music, you know, games and such, the sizzling can be overridden. But you need an external DAC. You need an external DAC and amp. That is the only solution. You may ask me, what about those USB ones that I've seen? I wouldn't suggest those. I haven't tried them, and I wouldn't suggest them. Right. If you want to use this mic, and you do not care that much about the sizzling, the continuous sizzling, a sound card is what you find, what you need. Thirty bucks. The Sound Blaster Audio FX does its job, and it does its job very well. Pair it with good headphones. Uh, as I, um, I think I already mentioned, these are the Sound Blaster H6. So. Same company, but these are amazing. Like, with the sound card, it's just a new world for me in terms of sound. But yeah, the mic, mad value, get a sound card or an external DAC, and you're good to go. Also, an XLR to XLR cable, because this doesn't come with an XLR cable. And that is it. That is from that is it from me. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I helped you perhaps fix your setup if you already bought this mic or or help you with a purchase. That is why I'm doing this. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.